Hi, today we're here with Heather Ashamara, and we're here to talk about women, power, and leadership. These are all very important topics. What can you tell us about women, power, and society today? As women, it's really important for us to step back into our power. And we're in a big paradigm shift, I feel mm. like, as women, that we've been trained to give our power to other people, to constantly compare ourselves. And it's time for us to step back into what power is. And to de define power, women's power is not about power over. That's the old model, which is I have power because I have more stuff or more authority over you. Women's power is power from within, mm -hmm. that I am powerful in my way and I recognize you are powerful in your way, mm -hmm. and that there's deep respect and honoring. There's not a need to compare because we know that we're each different. And this is a new form of leadership as well, that instead of there's one leader and everybody else follows, mm -hmm. we're learning as women how each of us can come back into our leadership and support each other in being leaders for ourselves, for our communities, and for society in general. How do you go about teaching women leadership or teaching women empowerment skills that they can use in their day-to-day -day lives? That's something that is woven through everything that I do mm. because as women, when we come back into our authenticity, mm -hmm. we come back home as I think about it, that, that automatically puts us back into our power. Mm. So the old way that we've done it usually is I'm powerful if I'm perfect. Mm. If I follow all these rules that I've made up or that I've learned about how I should be. But the mm -hmm. truth is we're powerful when we're vulnerable, when we're present, when we're willing to be ourselves fully. Mm. And I also teach programs specifically for women that want to be leaders in their communities. So there's a program, Warrior Goddess Facilitator Training, for example, mm -hmm. that teaches women how to teach different skills around the Warrior Goddess teachings, but really at its foundation, it's about teaching women how to empower other women through becoming leaders. Mm -hmm. So you've gone through this process yourself, obviously, or we wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a short story about your journey in finding your voice as a leader? Mm -hmm. There is so many times, opportunities, where I've been asked to get bigger. And even when I first started teaching, I was super shy. I did not think of myself as powerful at all. And my best friend and I decided to do a class because we wanted to share what we were learning. And 60 people showed up. And so right there, it was like, OK, my friend says, you take 30, I'll take 30. And I was like, OK. But I had to step up. Uh -huh. I had to show up because there were women that were present that were asking for that. And so mm -hmm. that happens to me constantly is that place of thinking, I can't do this. But then looking at the opportunity or looking at what's being called from me. And it, it invites me to reach deeper and say, yes, I can do this. Mm -hmm. And as women, we are much more powerful mm -hmm. than we think we are. And when we're put into situations when that leadership is pulled out of us, I've seen women do things that they had no idea was inside of them. Mm. And that's true for all of us. Mm. We have that power. I know the way we talk about things is very important. Um, we, can, we can color a conversation with the words we choose. When you're talking about women and power, speech is such a critical tool. Is there anything that you can point out where women can find power and the beginnings of leadership through their language? Absolutely. One way is to start watching for the places that we put ourselves down mm -hmm. without realizing it. Mm -hmm. We judge ourselves, we compare ourselves. Mm -hmm. And the first part of reclaiming our power mm -hmm. is to be aware, mm -hmm. to just start with being aware of what we're doing and then slowly start to change the voices in our head. Mm -hmm. And it takes time. It takes time. It's not going to happen instantaneously, but mm -hmm. it's that awareness of claiming I'm responsible for what I'm telling myself. And I'm powerful because once I see it, then I have the opportunity to change it. Mm. And also, any woman that wants to come into her power, you need community. Mm. You have to have community to support you because we're 
undoing a lot of old beliefs and agreements. Mm -hmm. And so getting support is vital. Mm. Thank you, Heather Ash. Thank you. If this is interesting to you and you're looking to find out more about power and leadership, please go to heatherashamara.com and there you will find information about leadership, inspiration, spirituality. You can read Heather Ash's books. They're available on amazon.com and on the website, you can find out information about firewalks, retreats, travel, um, warrior goddess weekends, and any of the other fabulous offerings that Heather Ash has for us. Mm -hmm.